Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, it is Matthew back with another episode of Wadi's channel. Uh, once again, we are returning to the WWF LJN Wrestling Superstars review. Uh, if this isn't the last video, it's uh, definitely getting close. So, uh, in one of the last videos, I did mention that I wanted to take a look at the uh, Ram Treasures figures. So, in 1989, uh, when Grand Toys uh, purchased uh, the, the the line from uh, LJN, they were supposed to per they were supposed to make a, a whole slew of different characters uh, that were never made. Uh, when you actually look on the back of the Series Six card, uh, characters uh, such as Brother Love over here, the Bushwhackers. You got Bad News Brown, then you got Smash of Demolition. It says Powers of Pain. You did get Warlord, but no Barbarian. Uh, let's see who else were we missing. So I think that was pretty much it. If I'm not mistaken, yep. So, so characters like that that were supposed to be released never, never were. Over on Etsy, uh, Xbox Customs by Random Treasures, they did make those uh, those figures. So, this isn't necessarily an Xbox Customs shout-out video. It's technically still an LJN slash Grand Toys review video. But, I am going to reflect on those Random Treasures figures. Because, technically, uh, they do kind of mesh well with this line. So, I am going to show those figures. But... Uh, since I was over here and I was looking at the shelf, I don't remember if it was uh, blatant interference or if it was someone else. I remember several weeks ago, someone was asking me about a Bob Backlund figure. And uh, I, I could be wrong. It could have been somewhat completely different. but uh, And it's kind of it sucks because I've got such a bad memory that I don't remember who it was that was asking me about it. They're like, yeah, I remember there being a Bruno San Martino, but no Bob Acklin. And um, since I'm over here, I just want to show that, that person that was asking me about it. So, Random Treasures. They made uh, Bob Backlin, And all they did was pull a B. Brian Blair figure. A very simple figure to me. I think this is uh, absolutely hideous. Uh, no shade to, to Random Treasures, but um, I know so many people out there absolutely love the Bob Backlund figure, but to me, I think it's one of the worst figures. Uh, not only Random Treasures made, I just think it's one of the worst customs ever. I, I don't know, I, I just, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, for the longest time, I gave this figure so much love. But it's mostly because I was just thrilled to add a new character to to uh, to the roster, um, and at that time I was still sh so appreciative of all the figures I was able to acquire from Random Treasures for such you know a low price. Like at that time I was buying up all the Series Six figures for like one hundred thirty dollars a piece, where you know they were costing me like four hundred dollars on eBay and all that. So I had a lot of blind loyalty towards the company. Um, but as the last, you know, couple years, last year and a half has passed, uh, I still love and respect the company, but, you know, it's no longer a blind loyalty. Now it's just kind of, you know, showing love the right way and not necessarily just giving them love just because they're, they're making figures because that doesn't make no sense. <laughs> but, uh, that was the, uh, the Bob Backlund figure I was talking about. All right, um, I'm done with that. Uh, on to the main course, <laughs> which is the uh, the figures that I think that Ram Treasures they they did okay with. Uh, there's a few in here that are on my list of um, among the really great figures. Uh, so we'll start off with a figure I think they could have done a whole lot better with. And uh, that is Bad News Brown. So Bad News Brown, I absolutely love and respect this guy. Every time you watch this man do like an interview, the man is just so real, so down to earth. You know what? 
he's not in there, you know, trying to be some big super movie star or anything. You know, he's in there. He's doing a job. He's going to do the job to the best of his ability. He's there to, to earn a paycheck, to support his family. He cares about people. That's you, know, you got to respect that. He's not there to, to hurt anybody. Uh, just a friendly, down to, down to earth guy. I really like this guy. Uh, I didn't. I don't really remember him uh, too well. You know, going back and watching videos, kind of get that little refresher. That's about it. But again, watching these old interviews and stuff, I'm getting a lot more uh, flashbacks. A lot more you know respect for the man as he was. Just kind of like. I don't know. I just don't don't view him as like a heel type character. Like he doesn't feel like that kind of guy to me. He kind of feels like a, like a junkyard dog persona to me. And I think that actually would have been a, a really solid uh, a tag team to be honest. Um, this this look isn't bad. I mean this this is you know his in ring gear. That it, the look is fine. Just like the British Bulldogs, I absolutely despise this whole one arm up. I hate it. Absolutely terrible. This over here, I'm okay with that. If this arm right here, because this is kind of like, almost like the Ultimate Warrior. If like his arm was like down, maybe like this even. If this was his pose, uh, this would have been a thousand times better. And all you're doing is lowering his arm, you know, by about 50%. But up here, it, it turns it into a trash figure. At one point, when when he when Ram Treasures had about 14 figures or so in uh, in their inventory, this was like the worst figure that they had, in my opinion. And then when they got up to like 30 figures and I had them all, he was like number 28 or something among the worst. But still still one of the bottom tier figures among among their figures uh not a good one and uh glad to have him as part of the LJN roster no doubt figure that should have been made 30 plus years ago incredible to add to the roster but man the figure could have been done so much better uh bad news brown Next up, move on from Bad News Brown, we move over to Brother Love. I love you. That stupid thing. I, I still have nightmares about that stupid look that he makes every time he says that. Uh, I don't know what the heck is up with Hulk Hogan. Why, do, why he goes on the Brother Love show. Every time he does, that man gets his butt whooped. Either gets crushed by like the Undertaker or under or Earthquake or, or somebody. He just, I mean, how many times are you gonna get demolished by somebody uh, while on this man's show? So uh, a few months ago, I've done I did a review of Ram Treasure figures and how they basically take their figures and they rip off LJN figures, you know. And that's one of the reasons why I stopped being a fan of Ram Treasures because. All of us fans of uh, Ram Treasures, we were giving them so much credit and so much love for being original customizers, and they're not. Uh, they just, they're just like anybody else. They're like any other customizer who makes customs in their home, kitchen, garage, what have you. They, they, they don't create their own rubber or anything like that. They, they just take a, existing figures and make their own stuff and take their stuff out of that. They don't do anything special. Uh, this is, uh, what is this, a Jim Brunzel? I think I used like a um, Billy Jack Haynes as a comparison because of the arm pose and whatnot. I'm going to stop ripping on uh, Ram Treasures. But I, I when I look at these figures, it just it just makes me sad because I used to love this company so much, but uh, it just doesn't it just doesn't do it for me anymore. I, I actually like the Brother Love figure, and uh, this one I think was like in the top five, top six among my favorite Ram Treasure figures. Um, 
he's just a strawberry shortcake figure. That's all he all he is. Uh, or what? Not strawberry shortcake. What's the other one I was talking? Red velvet cake. Hey, either or works. Good looking figure. Good pose and everything. I like it. Should have been made thirty plus years ago. Wasn't. We have them now. It's a good one. Great addition. And uh, for any of any of you guys out there looking for another manager or interviewer or hell, like I like I said, guys, uh, you you want to wrestle these guys? You want to give these figures to your kids? I don't care if I was a kid or if I'm wrestling these as an adult. Shoot, anything was a wrestler for me when when I was a kid. So. You best believe uh, if I had this as a kid, I don't care if he was a manager. He, I still would have wrestled the heck out of him. <laughs> uh, he's got the post for it, so absolutely. Um, and next, yeah, they deserved it as Hasbro, and they deserve to be made as LJN. They didn't get their their sh their shot as LJN, but. We see what could have been uh, from XOX Customs. Waist down, excellent design, great camel pants, waist up. It could have been so much better. Uh, Ram Treasures has this habit of taking their tag teams and always mirroring their figures, and I absolutely despise that. Uh, that's one of the bad things. Second, you know, they do that whole arm thing that the Bushwhackers do when they come into the ring. When you know when they're walking down the aisle, or when they get into the ring, they start walking around the ring. But I get it. Ram treasure figures are designed for adult collectors for display, not for kids for for play, not for adults who want to sit there and wrestle these guys. But come on, even adults enjoy a proper display, a proper pose or fighting pose for display purposes. And regardless of how you want to use these guys, you want something to to be proud of. And I am not proud of this pose at all. Love the fact that they were able to add another set of figures from the uh, Grand Toys collection that weren't made. But man, these these poses were terrible. Bushwhackers. I mean, not much more can be said about them. Sheep herders. Mm. Bad figures. I mean, they're they're really not bad figures. I, I keep criticizing them, but they're they're they're, they're okay. They're adequate. They're they are what they are. Uh, they could be better. I just don't know really much more you can put out with these figures. <sighs> the rubber. I don't know. It's like very soft clay or something, you know? Like you, you feel, go feel your LJN figures and feel the, the nice roughness of the figures. And then you feel these things. I don't know. I, I really feel like if I wanted to, I could sit there and rip them in half with ease. Alright, so we've gone through Bad News Brown. We've looked at Brother Love. We've looked at the Bushwhackers. Alright. Next up is Demolition Smash. So we got Smash here, and then the Bowers of Pain. So we got Warlord already pre-made, and then they they made Barbarian. So again, Smash is just a carbon copy of Axe. All they did was change up the arm. So instead of right arm up, they posed him with left arm up. Just a carbon copy or a a mirror version of the Axe figure. Great thing is they gave him like your Hasbro Series 1 face paint. So I also like that they the fact that they included like that little blue knee pad underneath. So that's pretty awesome as well. And what I always talk about 
the only good thing for this pose <laughs> is to hold the belts. <laughs> I mean, I think I have Smash as like my, I don't know, what did I put him, like number three or four? My number three or number four all-time favorite Ram Treasures figure. The pose sucks. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's a terrible pose, which ruins the overall figure for me. But the overall display of the figure with the with the suit and everything, with the chaps and, and then the leather and the face paint, that's what puts him over the hump. But other than that, as far as the playability of the figure, I, I wouldn't, if I'm a kid, I wouldn't want to use this. It would look great on a shelf. That, that, that serves its only purpose. Uh, if they had given him like barbarian's pose or you know something very similar, incredible. You know what you could have done with that pose? I don't know. Uh, cut the arms off the bushwhackers. Like, take the right arm and off of you know. Take this guy's left arm and then the other guy's right arm and put it on uh, on this guy and and use that. I mean, they may have been like super low. They've been like down here, but at least that would have been somewhat playable. I mean, he would have been like a punch only figure, but I mean, really, what could you have done with this, you know? But yeah, uh, as far as round treasure figures goes, this is definitely one of their elite figures. I mean, there is a reason why I say that Random Treasure's best figure is the Sid Vicious Galoob 2-Up. Think about that. All they did was blow up a, a, a pre-made figure. They didn't have to do any make any change. They didn't have to create a figure. They didn't have to come up with a new idea or come up with a paint scheme or anything. All they did was create, turn a, uh, an existing figure into rubber. And, you know, make it twice as big. So, Ram Treasure's best figure, like I said, is the Sid Vicious Galoob 2-Up. That's that's their best figure, hands down. No other figure in their, in their inventory comes close. So, you know, it, it's... Do they have some amazing figures? Absolutely. But, look at the Bob Backlund. They have some really horrible ones in their inventory as well. I mean, look at the uh, the the Macho Man that they have. They use the a Ron Simmons Macho Man. Are they insane? <laughs> uh, all right, and the last one from Powers of Pain. You finally complete the tag team along with Warlord by including the Barbarian. Uh, for the long t for the longest time. Uh, Barbarian actually was the number one greatest uh, figure that Random Treasures did have. Uh, he was number one up until I think Sid Vicious was made. And, uh, or was he number one until Le Zeus was made? I can't remember if Zeus was made before or after Zeus, or after Sid Vicious. He may, Zeus may have been made before Sid Vicious, which means Zeus would have been first, and then, either way, Zeus is number two, Sid Vicious is number one, however you want to look at it. This is, you know, somewhere in the top ten list, I would say, of the best uh, Ram Treasure figures. Fantastic pose. I love the, the, uh, the face paint on this figure. It's awesome. Just an overall great look. Because a great brute force to tag team with the warlord. This is a fantastic figure. I mean, this is exactly the type of figures that war that uh, Ram Treasures needs to be making. But uh, we kind of look at the shelves and see some of the figures they've been coming out with, and I'm like, no. Uh, this is the last of that collection, and I think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Brother Love was the very last figure that um, Ram Treasures made. And that was the last figure that completed uh, the the uh, Series 6 line for the figures that should have been made. So, at this point, uh, we've completed all reviews of all six series. 
Uh, the, we reviewed all the variants, or at least all the variants that I currently have. There are still a few variants that I am missing. Uh, well, I I didn't review the, the tag teams, the two tag team sets that I had on card or in box set with the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov and the British Bulldogs. Uh, that's fine. Um, I, I reviewed some of the new... Pack, attack, some of the new carded uh, pack figures I've received uh, since those reviews. At this point, I don't think there's really anything else I can add. Now, if I get any new variants in, will I make another video? It's possible. Uh, I've included the Bendies and the Thumb Wrestler reviews uh, to this uh, to this playlist. So, uh, with this video, I'm thinking this might be the completion of the LJ and Wrestling Superstars review. I mean, like I said, I really don't think there's anything else I can add uh, to this particular review. If this is something I come back to in a few years, maybe, but again, unless I come back with like more history or something, I really don't see a point in it. Uh, I mean, this was a lot of fun to make these videos. That's why I really didn't want it to end. I really should have included the Wrestling Superstars poster reviews in these videos. I made poster reviews its own separate playlist, but um, yeah. Well, if you guys could think of anything that I could add additionally to to include in this uh, playlist to go along with this line, you know, let me know. Um, I'm not ready to say goodbye to this uh, this series of videos. So, and uh, if there's more to add. I want it to go as long as I possibly can. But uh, other than that, uh, that's the completion of this video and possibly the completion of this series for now. Uh, the next video, I'm probably going to start diving into the tournament video for uh, Group C, um, the tag teams of the Gloob line. I'm probably going to, I made three videos already today, so I'm probably going to make just one video. But depending on how fast I make it through that Group C video, that first video, I'm probably going to do one video. But again, if it, if it goes pretty smoothly, I'll make a couple videos. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, as always. Man, I really ripped into Ram Treasures this video. Man, I gotta knock that off. <laughs> I, I really never intend to, to really to brag on them, but I've been like really. I've been really cutting into them a lot lately. And, they really haven't done anything to me. I just, uh, I, I've just been disappointed in in their figures, and now it's like, because I used to classify myself as such a huge fan, and because I know the way I am, if I buy something, uh, I want to complete a collection, and I know that eventually I'm gonna have to buy those figures. It may not be right now, but eventually I'm going to buy it. And to me, I know I don't want them. So it's going to be a waste of money for me because I know I'm not going to enjoy it. So if they keep coming out with all these figures I don't want and I end up buying them because I have to get them <laughs> because I have OCD, uh, if I don't buy them, I'm going to go nuts. Like it's already s scratching at me. Uh I guess that's why it's uh, it, it's kind of bothering me uh, why they keep coming out with these figures I don't like, and I've said it before it doesn't really bother me the fact that uh, they come out with characters I don't know about. They could come out with characters I don't know about all day. Uh, if they come out with great figures, that's that's what gets me. Yeah. The, the awesome figure is an awesome figure all day. So, you know, uh, if this guy is. Johnny B. Good, and I don't know who Johnny B. Good is, uh, but it looks like this. Hey, I will buy that figure all day long. Hey, you know, it's a great figure. Uh, but that's it for now, guys. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll talk to you in comments, and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.